with the lattice top, you go every other one. So see how I've kind of started to braid them in. And then you kind of go, oh, well, this one's under, so you go start with these. And you kind of lift up every other one. Now, I see that you have it on a tray, the bottom mm -hmm. side of a tray. What's the purpose of that? It slides off the tray a little bit better, and your braiding is e more even when you're um, braiding your lattice top. And it's, it's a lot easier to work with than trying to braid it over the top of a, you know, real un a rough surface of a pie. So that makes things easier. Just like that. And then you do the opposite strips for the next one. And it's um, 18 strips total and then nine strips for each, nine for the bottom and nine for the top. And it's good to work with some pretty cold dough. That way, um, when it gets warm, it kind of starts to break apart. So you want to make sure your, your dough is pretty cold when you start. And this is good for your basic apple pies, berry pies, like cherry pie is really good with the lattice top. You just don't use it for, you know, because you don't have top crust on like pumpkin pies and things like that, so. But could you do it on a pumpkin pie? Or would it yeah, you it? could. Yeah, it would look really nice. You can um, add a little flair to your pumpkin pie. I know that like a lot of people like to put cut out shapes on top of it. It bakes really nicely, so. Okay, so. It's important to have 18 strips of the lattice top so that you have full coverage over your pie top. So now, what you do is you kind of pinch in your sides here so that you know that it'll stick when you're baking it. Pinch off your ends. And you just go around and tuck them in nice and even. It's important to crimp your ends so that the um, pie crust stays together. Otherwise, um, the juices will seep out on those edges and then your, your pie will just you know, come out the sides and it looks a lot nicer when you, when you crimp it.